Okay, I'm gonna do a quick video here and show you guys the new tools that I've made. I posted these a while back on my Patreon, um, which if you don't know, here's my Patreon. I'll put a link down below. Um, and all you need to do is sign up on my Patreon for free. You don't have to have a paid membership. I do have paid memberships if you wanna support me, support the channel. But all you have to do is, make a, is uh, join it for free. And you come down here and download this SFX underscore tools. Uh, dot nknc which is it's non-commercial but if you have a paid nuke license it's okay you're able to open up a non-commercial version you just have to open up a non-commercial nuke file uh, and then whenever you do that you can copy and paste all these nodes and paste it into a your regular nuke version and then you'll have the tools um, so that's that's what you do if you have a paid version of nuke but if you have a free version, the non-commercial, like me, it doesn't matter. You just open it up, and then you can save these individual tools right here. Okay, so the first one we're going to talk about is called Flatten Grade. So here I have an image of the sky. So here we're going to plug in the image node, and we're going to look what it does. So this node is really good for matte painting because um, you want to flatten out the image, and then you can paint on top of that to kind of match the grading and stuff. Um, so right here, the intensity of the grade, all it means is how much of the effect is working. So 0.95 is usually working pretty good. If you increase that number, you can be very subtle with it. It'll bring back the highlights. And then obviously the more down you go, the more flat it'll be. Uh, also, I added some color wheels to add some color. So like say you're doing a day for night scene, you can add a little bit of blue into the gain, or you can add some blue into the gamma, or you know, we can do other colors, other colors as well. And then this bring back detail. So what this does is if I take this down to zero, uh, you can see it kind of keeps some of the highlights in the, uh, the picture, as you can see. So if I do that up it's basically a sharpening node that keeps the highlights uh, usually value of five i found to be pretty consistent across many images but of course the slider is there if you want it now i also have a sharpening effect because whenever you grade down so much it loses a lot of detail so that's what the sharpen node is for and of course um, you can increase that or decrease that uh, usually you don't want to mess with this too much. I just put that there in case you wanted it. And also, finally, I have a mask node. Um, so, you know, if you want it on a certain part, you're able to do that. So, I don't know. Say you just wanted to darken down a certain part, uh, you're able to do that now. So, you're able, you can go inside the node and look at it if you want. Um, essentially, it's just um, a lot of gray nodes stacked on top of each other to give a more gradual uh, gain down uh, so as you can see here's before and after so that's the flattened grade node okay so next up we have true gamma and I've talked about this before in my videos but all this is is a I'll show you it is a gamma node with that HSV input and output so what it does is whenever you gamma down it keeps the saturation of your picture and also, whenever you gamma up, it also keeps saturation. Uh, let me show you why this is uh, handy. So as you can see, whenever you gamma down with a regular grade node, it increases saturation. This node, it'll keep the saturation the same. And then the same thing for gamming up. As you can see, the true gamma, which is right here, it keeps the saturation the same. But whenever you gamma up on the regular grade node, it loses the saturation. Here is mine and then the gamma. So obviously you might want to have gamma, or sorry, you might want to have saturation increases or decreases depending on what you're doing. Uh, this node is just there in case you want to keep the saturation but want to add contrast. Okay, now this sharpen node is just a sharpen node but with that log to lin conversion thing that a lot of compositors use to keep uh, keep the detail but honestly um, it's only there to because for some reason in nuke the sharpen node works better if you do this i don't know the exact science why 
I've just done this so many times that I decided to combine it into one node so I wouldn't have to keep typing all these things out every single time. So that's all it is. Um, so this one, uh, let's see. Yeah, so you can see it's just sharpening up the node. So again, it is not very subtle, or sorry, it is very subtle. Uh, it's also not very noticeable. But you can see here, here's the regular sharpen and here's mine. It's it's very subtle, the differences, but uh, I'm sure someone has talked about why adding lock to lin before and after the sharpen node's important. Um, but anyways, so that is there in case you want that. Okay, and then this node right here called blender underscore aces, uh, basically means it just turns the blender regular linear, uh, your regular renders out of blender. So right here, I have a render right here and it turns it into aces. Uh, so obviously in Nuke, it's very easy to change to aces right here, but in Blender, there's not a lot of documentation and I've tried to get aces in Blender. I just don't really know how to do it. If you do know, let me know down below. I really want to start using it, uh, but this node right here fixes that. So it turns your linear sRGB uh, into aces. So as you can see before and after, Anyways, it's pretty self-explanatory, but this just turns Blender renders into aces if you render just linear. So this is just a quick video going over my Nuke tools. Again, it's on my Patreon right here. And uh, just keep an eye out because as I make more tools down the road, I am going to add them to this project file right here. So just keep an eye out on Patreon. Go join as a free member or paid if you feel, uh, if you feel like joining. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching.